welcome to Pinch of Kerala. And today we are uh, so welcome again. And we are, today we are going to make the semi pies. This is the items that we need. So any pies that you make, you always need milk. So I have four cups of milk. What kind so of milk? It's uh, whole milk. Whole milk, and I just want to show the bottom. See them? Vitamin D. Whole, whole milk. And of course, semia paisan, you need semia. So this is a semia. I've broken down. You know, otherwise I cannot fit it into the cup. So the other things you need is cashew. If somebody is allergic to cashew or any nuts, please don't use the cashew. This is raisin. And of course, we need sugar. You know, if you don't put sugar in the semia paisan, you know, no taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go only with the one fourth cup of sugar for four cups of uh, milk. And of course you can add, you can go up to half a cup or you can, you know, maybe a little bit more than a uh, quarter cup. And the other things I'm adding is a sabudana. See in Malayalam it's chawiri. And to fry these uh, nuts and vermes in a semia, you need uh, two tablespoons of butter. And of course, you know, this is already I sliced it. Then you know, the flavor, of course, the cardamom powder, you know, this is the whole cardamom, you know that, eh? by now you know cardamom. So I crushed the cardamom seed. So I just want you to see the cardamom in order to see the cardamom powder. So I'm going to add a half a teaspoon, it's up to you, you can all go up to three, four teaspoon or whatever you want, you know, it's, a, it's all flavor. Sugar and a little bit of salt, you know, a pinch of salt, you know, so I just took the salt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, uh, put the milk first, so it will get warmed up. So we're going to boil the milk. Okay. So I'm going to add, this is four cups, four cups of milk, whole milk. So I'm going to add this. And I'm going to add the sabudana at the same time. The boiled, you know, the, this is a soaked one. This is soaked for soaked one hour. One. Yeah, two tablespoons. I soaked one hour. In water. In water. So I'm going to put the butter, butter, two tablespoons. So I'm going to fry the cashew. This is a two tablespoon. And you can add more if you like. It's all up to your taste. Okay, so the heat on the milk is low because we want it to boil. No, no, no. Uh, because, you know, I'm doing two things at the same oh, time. It's low only because we're multitasking. <laughs> you want the milk to boil. That's what we're getting to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm doing two things at the same time. I don't want the milk and the sago stick at the bottom. Okay. So, remember, this is a milk-sago combination. Oh, yeah. yeah. The butter is on medium heat. On medium heat. I'm frying the cashew. And because otherwise, cashew. what happens, you know, after you're frying it, then you have to wait for the, you right. know, milk to boil. So I'm going to take that now. See here how brown it is? Yes. So I got the ladder with the hole. Nice you want, and... You want to keep some of the butter, melted butter in the pan? Oh yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. We need okay. that. See, I'm going to put the... See, yep. Nice. These are and golden raisins. The golden raisins. Golden raisin is better. You know, I put it on slow because otherwise, you know, it has a tendency to burn. See here? How bubbly it is? Yeah. So I'm going to put it on the same container. So I'm going to put the vermicelli in there. See? This one cup. Got it. So I'm going to put it. And if you want to add a little bit more butter, you can though. So now see here, we fried all the items and now the milk is getting boiled. So you know, it's a half way, so it less time, you know. So otherwise, after you fry it, you have to put the milk and you keep waiting, waiting, waiting. So what happens on the while boiling, I'm going to add the vermicelli and the sugar. Okay. Okay? Yep. So I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit. Okay. And the heat is very, very, very important. So now, you see here, all this is going in the Milk. See, in the milk. See, nothing burned. And like I said, that I'd put all the, you know, everything in there. Nothing burned. Everything looks perfect. And like I said, that if you burn it, it looks dark, and your pies may taste a little bit different than what you actually want. See here, how it is. So I'm gonna add the sugar. This is one fourth cup. Yep. 
Dump it in, guys. Dump it in. And the more it sets, it gets thicker. Yeah. So this is the one, you know, just this much so. Okay. And the teaspoon. Yeah. Half of one fourth. And again, any any cooking that you do, please don't add too much salt, you know, because once it's salty, it's so hard to get it off. And you, you can, if you go with a little bit, then add more. Okay, so I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of cardamom powder. Okay. Keeping teaspoon. Yeah. Keeping um, cardamom powder. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. So I'm going to add our cashew and the raisin. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save a little bit when I put it on the plate. This will stay on the top of the plate. Okay, you know, the for board. decoration. Okay, decoration. Um, so we have enough salt, enough sugar, and again, I, you know, like I said, if anybody wants to add more sugar, you can. Diabetic people, please go slow. You can start with one tablespoon, two tablespoon, then, you know, put it on the dad or mom who is diabetic. You can put it on the side, then, you know, rest of them, you can add more sugar. Or you can add condensed milk if you like. It's all up to you. See here? It's perfect now. Pinch of Kerala again, and uh, thanks for watching. Yeah, you put your mind to it, you can do it. <laughs>